Hey guys, welcome back. Now, uh, I think I need to go up there. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Um, yeah. Okay. Don't. That's one of the. Oh, that's one of the things that they like to do in this dungeon is they like you to, or they like to put you in places where you have to claw shot quickly, and if you don't go to the right place, you end up dying. They are really seem to be a fan of that now, but. As long as you don't panic, then you'll be fine. You just need to look around calmly so you can see what you need to do, and you'll be good. So now we gotta cross this tiny platform here, which is annoying, but oh well. Um, let's see, where am I going? Oh, there it is. So, once again, we need to do this where, you know, you got a time limit to get to where you need to go, but it's not bad, because they really... Those things slide off very slowly, so you'll be okay. Um, actually, let's do this. I want to go ahead and do that. Alright. Actually, what am I doing? I'll just do it now. <laughs> Boom! Haha! <laughs> Sucker. That's what you get for blocking my bomb arrows and freaking temp in the Temple of Timmy. Alright, so just drop down. And we're good. That entire room is now done. Oh, boy. Oh, and great. Now we have this room. That's just delightful. We have the biggest, most annoying freaking room in the whole temple right here. So, what you need to do is you have to... Uh, they force you to wait for P-Hats. I'm dead serious. You actually have to wait on P-Hats, and that's the entire point of this room. Come on. Please. Haha! I went through the wall! I cheated! There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Get out of here. There we go. That wasn't so bad. Uh, that right there, that's a piece of heart, but I'm not going to be getting it, so... Uh, this room is not going to take nearly as much time as it normally does for everybody else, so... Yeah. Alright, so... There's cracks in the wall, you have to lower yourself so that the chain... Um, you know, goes through the crack. And that you actually go through the big hole. It's not all that complicated. So, yeah. Alright. <sighs> yep. Man, this pulse pounding gameplay just has my heart rate skyrocketing. My heart is bursting with excitement from how exciting that room was. You know, remember that time when we were holding on to the P-Hat and it moved very, very, very slowly toward our goal? Man, that was awesome. Okay. I, al I always find it really weird that just thinking that these are P-Hats, though. It just feels so weird for them to actually be good for once, because in all the other Zelda games that are bad, I mean, they're always enemies. Wind Waker, um, Ocarina of Time, and, um, you know, that other one. <laughs> that other one. No, 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 no. Hey! Ooh! Man, see, that's why I love the Great Spin. It's so nice to be able to just insta-kill those guys. Kind of like with the bomb arrows, except it's just awesomer. All right. Haha. -ha. See, I don't really know why people think these guys give you trouble. I mean, unless they block your arrows and they get up to you. But even then, they're still easy. So, I don't know. It just seems off, odd to me. Okay, so there's an easy way to do this and there's a hard way to do this. I'm going to see if I can do it the easy way. So, okay. What you need to do is get near this door here. And you see those vines up there? You can just barely get them from here. Say like that. Oh, there we go. Now, what you gotta do is... What you're trying to do is... You see how I can claw shot? Look, here, I'll show you. I can claw shot, but... As soon... Wait, I made it? No! Oh! Dang it! Alright, fine. I didn't know there were spiders up there. Die. You too. Aha. Okay, I thought I was gonna fall, but no. I'll take that heart, though. Um, get up there, and 
Come on. There we go. Come on. Oh, you see what I mean? Sometimes when you get up there, you don't really hold on. Come on. Where is it? I'm probably going to fall again. Ooh, I didn't. Awesome. Sweet. You see what I mean? There's a very easy way, and then there's a very long, boring, tedious way. All right, so we don't want to go that way. Um, I think we need to go the other way. So here, let's let's do this. Bomb, or just an arrow. Aha! Now, there's something kind of annoying about those birds. You see how there's like rocks behind them, like right there? If, if you shoot one of those birds and then they fall onto those rocks, they will survive and you'll have to hit them a second time. So if you can shoot that, shoot them at an angle where they're going to fall all the way off, then it's an instant kill. So try to do that if you can. Uh, let's see. Like this guy, he's going to survive. Watch. Oh, okay. Like the last time, last two times I tried shooting that one, he always hit the rocks. And I thought I wasn't going to get to kill him. But okay. Um, let's see. Where am I going? Do I need to walk on these? I don't remember needing to do this, but okay. <laughs> I'll do it. If I need to. I, I remember walking on this, but I... Ah, whatever. See, we're trying to get to a door that's over on this side of the building. In the middle. And you can only get... There it is. You see? Okay, yeah. I see where I was at before. But, yeah. That's all you need to do. Not all that hard. Of course, if you don't know about the little trick to get up there, it's a little bit more annoying. But, it's alright. Okay, come on, get up. Whoo! Yeah! So, <laughs> geez, I do that a lot. I was like, whoo! Um, come on. Yeah, good. Haha, <laughs> that moron ran into the fan. Alright. So, do that. Get on the fan. Get on the fan. Haha! -ha. Now, where am I going? There's a specific area. There it is. Ah! Oh, yeah, you need to drop. Oh, wait, no, no, no. My bad. That's not what I'm trying to do. I want to drop here. So do that, and you'll turn off the fan. Wow, I'm glad I didn't forget to do that. Because if you fall down there, you got to get all the way back up into this area again. And that's not as easy as it sounds. Just because it's so, it took so long to get here to begin with. But yeah, we're nearly done with the dungeon. Ah, whew. And there I go again. I do that so often for some reason. And so you want to come down on this side, drop all the way down as far as you can go, and then hit this. This, that, right there. That was what we were doing the entire time. The entire dungeon revolves around turning on the air conditioning. Oh, that's why this dungeon sucks. All right. So once you do that and you have the big key, and I actually didn't freaking forget it for once. Get the big key, come out this way, and we're pretty much almost done. Now it's just a little game of claw shotting, and that's all there is to it. Oh, what the? What happened? I didn't hit the freaking. I that has never happened to me before. Give me another heart. Oh, I don't want to have to use my milk for this. I will if I have to, but okay. Does that always happen? I don't think it does. Here, let's just do that. Just to be on the safe side, let's get up there. How about that? Because I don't think that's ever happened to me before. That's the only reason why I tried it. If that's what, if that always happens, the only reason why I tried is because I didn't know that would happen. Because I remember going up there, but whatever. I have to justify my failures because I hate being the guy that people scream at through their computer monitors. I never want to be that person. And that's why I got so upset at, about forgetting the big key because I know I'm going to get comments like, Oh God, this guy's a freaking moron. He forgot the big key. You know, stuff like that. So, yeah. Anyway, we're done. That's it. <laughs> and now we've got this one last room before the boss and then we're done. Seriously. <laughs> And uh, this is something that's hilarious. I did not even know you could do this until just recently, but check this out. Okay, look. Two Dragon Knights. Oh, God. What are we going to do? We couldn't possibly hope to defeat them. I mean, it's two at once. Holy jeez. I could barely handle one. Except, no, I could handle one. Ah. Uh, 
Come on. Thank you. Oh no, I must escape. Yeah, that's right. You can actually avoid them. You don't have to fight them at all. Hey there. Hey. Man, I wanted to hit him. All right. Well, yeah, you don't have to fight them. You can just run. It's like in Castlevania, where you can run past the Grim Reaper in uh, one of those castles or the mansions, whatever it is. Isn't that stupid? It's funny how they actually designed it that way, where you can, you know, just run away from them. <laughs> but all right. Yeah, this room is literally nothing but hook shot or claw shotting in between these fans. Ooh, that was close, man. Yeah, you're gonna need to preempt them just a little bit because you know they're gonna be turning and stuff, and they're they can actually be kind of tricky targets. So keep that in mind. Um, I think there's some chews down there, so if you need chew jelly, you can go and get them if you want. But I don't need no freaking chew jelly. I got my milk. Milk is so much better than chew jelly. Uh, yeah, just another purple one. I hate the purple chews because you get really good chews. Like, you can get red ones and blue ones and, like, rare chews and stuff. And then a purple chew will just absorb them and turn them purple, too. It sucks. Okay, I do have the boss key. Good. <laughs> but, all right, there you go. Temple of... Uh, temple in the sky. City in the sky in... Not too long, I guess. Like, another two and a half videos, like always. Alrighty. Now we work our way to the boss. Which is another really pathetic excuse for a boss, but... Oh, well. Yeah, this ain't no friggin'... This ain't no Skyrim here, just so you know. Just so you're not disappointed, this is nowhere near as good as Skyrim. Alright. God, that game is good. I wish I had it still, or at least I wish I had the time to actually invest in a really, like, freaking super-powered character. Because when I played that game, the only guilds that I ever joined, I joined, like, the, um... I forgot what it was called. It was the, it was the magic one. It was, like, the Academy of Winterheim, I think. Oh, um... I, I don't remember. It was, like, the Academy of Winterheim. And I did a little bit of stuff in the Dark Brotherhood. I never found... Or I didn't do much in the Thieves' Guild. And... I didn't do, like, anything in the Fighter's Guild, like the Companions. Alright, Twillet, Dragon, Argarok, skipping it. Oh, he disappeared! <laughs> That's hilarious! I didn't know that was going to happen. But, alright. The items you're going to need for this are the Claw Shots and your Iron Boots. That's it. Come on, get up. Okay, so, Claw Shot back and forth in between these towers... <laughs> They're quite deadly. You might call them the Deadly Towers. <laughs> anyway, um, you don't have to get up to the top here, but I just like to, just because it's fun. So, get up to where you're comfortable, and then claw shot onto his tail. Iron boots. That's it. And I'm sorry... <laughs> I really don't buy the iron boots thing because as you can see those aren't like those black pieces those aren't part of his body they're metal armor Whew! that was really close but yeah the armor that he is currently wearing is made of metal and it covers nearly his entire body I highly highly doubt that just a pair of boots made of iron would pull him down but okay this is a Nintendo game and logic doesn't really factor in <laughs> Anyway, Iron Boots again. The Boots of Implausibility. Or they ought to just call them the Magic Boots, or like the Magnet Boots. That would make more sense. Because honestly, I could actually see that working. Like if there was um, like a magnetic surface up here, like in the Goron Mines, that would make sense. Because it's like you put on the boots and then they're magnetized toward the ground, they pull them down. That I could buy, but just that it pulls them down, bullcrap. Okay. God, that thing looks lame. It has no face. It has, like... It's like... Okay, you know what? I just figured it out. It looks like a Kezu, but not white. And it has, like, a long tail, and it can fly. 
That's almost exactly what it looks like. It looks like a freaking Kezu. And let me tell you, Kezus ain't exactly fun to look at. <laughs> I can't believe I can reference Monster Hunter, but alright. <sighs> so now you do the same thing, except now there's uh, P hats to help you. This, this part is actually a little bit annoying, just because it's tedious. Like everything in this temple. Uh, come on, thank you. So, what you, what you gotta do here is get up high, and then get to the P-Hats. And then, there he is. So, just wait for him. And what he's gonna do, let him hover there for a bit. Get your claw shot ready, at least. And he's gonna start breathing fire. Alright, so. Uh, I should not have waited that long. But, oh well, it doesn't really matter. So, just hold your lock on, and then just you know, just do what I'm doing. It's not all that hard to, you know, see what I'm doing here. So, get around behind him, turn, and then go for his back. And then start a swing him. And then I wish you could put on your iron boots, but you can't. That would be cool, like you could crush him. That would actually be a pretty um, unique way to fight him here. It's like you knock him down, and then as he's falling, you put them on. And that would actually be part of the fight. That would make it a lot more interesting, that's for sure. Okay, so. Uh, go ahead and just rinse and repeat. That's all you need to do. <laughs> it's still an unbelievably easy boss. Although, really, to me, this is a very anticlimactic boss, just because... Like, they, I mean, they don't really build them up all that much, but it's a dragon. Come on, you gotta make dragons awesome, not boring like this. I mean, I don't know, maybe I'm the only one that gets bored by this, but to me, that's just a really lame-looking dragon. It's, you know what it is? It's not a dragon. It's a wyvern. It doesn't have four arms, or four legs, I should say. So it's not a dragon. Ah, no! Now, oh, I hate this thing. Yeah, and then they give you—they give him like cheap shots like that, where he just breathes fire and knocks you off. It's really aggravating. All right. So get up and just do it a third time. Now there's gonna be something different this time. He's gonna blow fire twice. So get going now. There we go. Yeah, he's gonna take like a good three seconds to actually start breathing fire. Oh, go, go, go. Thank you. So now what he's going to do, he's going to turn and he's going to breathe fire ahead of you. So you got to turn around and go the other way. That, I think, was actually a pretty good decision on their part. That was pretty smart. It actually got me the first time, the, like the first time I ever played. Of course, now it doesn't get me at all, but whatever. All right. And for the last time. Kaboom. Done. Skipping. Oh, I can't skip it. But yeah, the thing doesn't have any eyes. It doesn't have, like, a facial structure or anything. It doesn't have horns. It doesn't have four legs. It just... It's like a mouth at the end of a neck. That's all it is to me. It's just so boring. But all right. Get away from me, heart container. I don't need you. I don't need you all up in my face. This is what I need, though. I need the friggin' mirror piece. Ooh, and we're gonna have my mini game soon. I'm excited. I can't wait. It's gonna be fun. All right. Mirror piece. Yay! We got the last mirror piece. Woo hoo 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 hoo. All right. Shut up. <laughs> yes, the words of the sages. Ganon Dork did it. Zank can't break it. Only you can break it. Alright, come on. Oh. Stop! Okay, thank you. Alright, so, I'm gonna go around here. Oh, okay, good. Just first try. Let's get out of here. I'm done. I don't need no. I don't need nothing. I'm good. I'm glad I didn't have to use my milk, though. It's kind of annoying to have to go out of my way back to Orden Village to buy another thing of milk, but whatevs. I'm going to go ahead and save it. And. I believe that in the next part, we shall continue... Oh, crap, my computer's about to die. Plug it in. There we go. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, oh right, we're still here, kind of, sort of. I'll, I'll blast down. I'll, I'll go away. There we go. Alright, let's get out of here. I love how you need a cannon to shoot yourself back down. That makes even less sense. It'd be like, let's say you go up into space. The only way you could get back down to Earth is being shot out of a cannon. That would be so friggin' stupid. You don't need to drop out of a- get shot out of a cannon. Just drop! But, alright, anyway. Now that the city in the sky is done, and we're never going to be visiting it ever again, I'll see you guys next time, and I'm going to go and do the little stars minigame, because I love that minigame. So, I'll see you guys then.